Hello and welcome to yet another topic in Russian Revolution, the 1905 revolution during the time of Tsar Nicholas II. The 1905 revolution, the significant events which marked the revolution in the history of Russia was the event of Bloody Sunday the rebellion of the workers and the peasants, the Cossacks who refused to follow the Tsar, the failure of Russia, the government officials who were assassinated, the military strikes, the battalion which failed to control the mob. The basic causes were the military problems, the loss of Russia in the hands of Japan, a very small country and the loss of Port Arthur to Japan where Russia wanted to have its expansionist policies neglecting the internal problems, the problems of the peasants, the problems of the workers, the problems of different sections who toiled hard. The event of Bloody Sunday by Father Gopan who led the event a peaceful procession which went to the in winter palace but who were attacked by the soldiers. That followed by the workers' protest and Tsar Nicholas II who did not have a meaningful choice and meaningful ruling policies as he was corrupted by the evil ideas given by Rasputin, Evil Monk and Zarina who have spoiled the administrative policies. The Duma, which was the parliament of Russia, had a very little control and entire access and the decision making process was with the Tsar. Above all, the prices of the basic essential commodities were soaring. The inflation was very, very high. And the civilians who could not pay the prices. The peasants had to toil hard. 85% of the Russian population was dependent on agriculture. The class was divided into rich landlords and the poor laborers who worked hard for the landlords. The medieval system of land holding, the feudalism existed and the exploitation of the agricultural laborers to exist. It was difficult for the peasants to lead their life as they had encountered with the miserable conditions and their life was pathetic. They had to toil hard to make their living under the rulership or the leadership of the landlords. In an iron factory called Putilo Iron Factory, few workers were dismissed. And this workers, group of workers who were dismissed, they went on a strike. This strike was followed by several other workers who were working in different kinds of factories. The workers were classified on the basis of skill. Of all the workers, the metallic workers called themselves as the aristocrats who enjoyed more privileges. The workers protested for better working conditions. Sometimes the working hours were 16. It was very difficult for them to work under those circumstances. And the real wages which they received was very, very low. The prices of the essential commodities were soaring and it was difficult for them to buy those goods. Inflation was more. The value of money was coming down and the prices of the essential commodities was going up. The inability was of the czar was very clear and evident. People did not have the basic amenities fulfilled. It was very difficult for them to make their living. 
under these circumstances the striking workers went on a procession they rallied asking for bread wages demanding for better living conditions and better working conditions it was father goppan who led the procession they went to the winter palace took some letters of plea requesting the czar to heed to their request and make some changes give them the essential commodities bring down the prices and make their living more comfortable but this peaceful procession of people on the sunday was attacked by the cossacks or the soldiers on horses innocent people were beaten flogged they were lying on the ground pleading for their life that led to a mark of bloodshed and that event is called as a bloody sunday which is a very bad and insignificant event in the history of russia this marked with the jadidis the muslim reformers who wanted to reform and modernize the society of islamic people and islamic society they supported the liberals who were against the tsarist regime who wanted a people's government who wanted the autocracy of the tsar to end and demanded the tsar to work according to a constitution and they pressurized the tsar to follow their demands the working condition of the peasants was very very deplorable as they were exploited by the feudalistic lords sometimes uh, the land lords uh, pressurized so much that the the small farmers or the peasants uh, they lost their patience uh, they even went to kill the land lords to protect their life and make their living the end of all this social political economic events which made the czar to give or proclaim his october manifesto in the year 1905 before this he has allowed the making of the duma the elected representatives parliament but he suspended the duma three times limiting it to himself and the decision making power or the veto power was with the czar himself the czar issued the october manifesto in 1905 to stop the protest of the peasants to stop the protest of the working class and the soldiers who sometimes refused his orders and joined the protesting people he allowed a duma or the parliament to come into existence the first duma he suspended in 75 days second duma he suspended in 3 months and the third duma he made of his conservatives who were his faithful followers who were against the liberalistic ideologies and who believed that the tsarist regime should continue he also allowed the fundamental laws to come into existing but uh, controlling the duma to a great extent i hope that the revolt of 1905 russian revolution a turbulent time a disturbing time which led the peasants the soldiers and the working class the metal workers the workers in different kinds of factories who came out to the streets to protest against the czar his incapability to control the economic situation the political situation the social situation within the country and they questioned czar for the defeat in the hands of a small country japan and giving over the rights of the overseas trade and getting defeated in the hands of a small country thank you